Google AdWords versus Facebook ads. What a buzz in advertising world. I often see people debate whether one is better than the other, but in reality, what is the best for your business? Let's find out in today's video. Before I tell you which is the best, let's uh, see the pros and cons of each. First, Google AdWords pros. Number one, Google AdWords reach larger audiences. You know, Google AdWords uh, is an advertising platform by Google, so you're, you, you're, use, you're utilizing the world's largest search engine ecosystem of advertising. Have you ever heard about AdSense, where you put the banners of the, your, of the ads on your website, monetization of your website? Those ads are actually from Google AdWords only. When you set up the, the campaign, right, you have an option to choose whether you want to show ads on other Google's ecosystem as well, like for example, YouTube, Gmail, uh, and Google Search, of course. And uh, second pros, it is a user-based intent advertising pa platform. Now, what do I mean by user-based intent? User-based intent basically means uh, the user has some kind of intent or intention to you know, whenever they search on a search engine. Suppose if I want to buy a new clothes or new shoes, I, I, I would go to Google and type best shoes in 2019 or best uh, shoes or best clothes or whatever, right? That is the search intent. That is that I already have, I already know what to type, what to search or what to buy. So in that case, it is a user search intent and by typing the, the, the key phrase which you're using for advertising, you, your ads will be displayed. Third, it, set, it is easy to set up. Google AdWords is probably the simplest advertising platform I've ever seen to set up. It, you, it basically takes you less than about five minutes to get your first ad campaign up and running. The layout and the menu in the ad manager is so simple and each of the menus are properly laid out with some small tips. So even the beginners like you or me, even when I get started with this, can easily set up a f your first AdWords campaign. Fourth, it blends in with organic search results. Now, I think a couple of weeks back, Google updated its, uh, its uh, mobile search results. You remember, the, um, if you go and see some of the uh, pictures of Google ads in the, in the earlier days, Earlier, it started off with some, you know, there were some clearly distinction between ads and search results, like uh, the organic search results. And as slowly as time progresses, Google tried to bend, blend, you know, the ads along with the AdWords, uh, ads with, along with the search results. And a couple of weeks back, they have, all, they have, I think they have kind of successfully done this. You can see you know, on the mobile search, the ads and the normal search results, they're completely look the same so, and by doing that you know people because people we have we have that kind of negative attitude towards ads because you know we may think that it's, it, it could be a spam or it could, it, it could be not trustworthy or something like that and by blending it along with the search results it really you know sometimes people can easily click on it by mistakes or you know it just completely look natural and Google has, I think they're doing pretty well in this and they're almost reached that point where, you know, you can't really distinguish between ads and normal search results. Okay, now coming to Google AdWords cons. First is a competitive segment. You know, nowadays almost every businesses are using Google AdWords and when you do Google AdWords, you have to bid. Bid is basically, you know, you have like an auction the more the more money you pay for the keywords which you want to advertise the you know the higher the position of your ads will be and there are other various factors as well but one of the most important is the, uh, money so since many big businesses are using you know google adwords nowadays because you know seo takes lots of time and it, it has become much more difficult than ever before so google adwords well people started you know using it a lot and you know, the the price for each keyword started to you know rise up because lots of competitions are there and also you know when you bid for uh, keywords for your website you're not bidding for just one or two keywords it usually takes up to uh, five or six keywords and each keyword has different costs so as you can see you know your daily budget minimum would be uh, i think about hundred dollars or something per day that's what i see like to get 
kind of good results. Second, it's more expensive. As I said, as competitions go up, the price for each keyword also goes up. And since you're not bidding for a particular keyword, but you have to do it you know, on the sets of keywords, so you, there are lots of costs there. And if you compare it to Facebook ads, it could be like you know two to three times more, or probably more than that, the cost for each uh, campaign. And third, more often you need expert. Uh, true, I say Google AdWords is so simple to set up, but you know, since a lot of competitions are there, uh, just basics will only get you far enough. You really have to come up with some good strategies, and you know, you really need some kind of expert uh, at some point to really you know, push your ads or really optimize it in you know, such a way that you don't lose you know too much money in the advertising. Okay, now coming to Facebook ads, let's analyze its pros. Number one is an inexpensive. It's probably one of the reasons why you know Facebook has has become so popular nowadays, because uh, it hardly takes you you know as little as ten dollars to get your ads you know reach to thousands of people. You know you just set up your ads, you put a budget, and budget could be as low as ten dollars per day. And you can easily reach out to um, almost a thousand of people with just that budget. And uh, the second pros is micro targeting. When, when Facebook rolled out this um, features, it became such a buzz in marketing world because you know social, social Facebook is a social media, right? So social media collects data from you know users, and by that, you know, Facebook has all of your data, whether it's your interests, your uh, personalities your everything about you Facebook knows so by having these features you can target your ads based on features like age gender marital status interest hobbies uh, specific um, regions demographic and multiple you can multiple uh, factors you can focus true on Google AdWords you can focus by uh, these type of you know specificity of, as well like for example regions or locations but that's pretty much it you can do with Google AdWords. In Facebook ads, you can fo you can do like a micro target. You can target uh, people based on different areas, sectors, and etc. This makes it such a powerful tool, and this is like a major advantage over Google AdWords. Third, retargeting. Retargeting simply means you know you sh display your ads in front of the audiences which. The, the audiences which came to your website or your ads and probably uh, those people are are people you know they're looking for something but they might be interested in your website in your uh, business in general or your ads but they haven't really thought of buying it or maybe they're just you know couldn't they couldn't find the right thing or maybe the, your things is there on the in the ads or websites but maybe there is not like you know fully shown to them so by retargeting means you're showing the same ad or something you know or your website or whatever you want to display to that type of person based on that person's specific interest and facebook allow this easily by using what we call as uh, facebook pixels is a small snippet of code which you place it onto your website and you can keep track of users um, interaction on your website for example if my users are interested in one of the sections of my products more than the other maybe in my next uh, advertising campaign i can target the same group of people by showing di or displaying more of what they're interested in and that is such a also a powerful tool and most most uh, most ad advertising requires retargeting as a, you know and after you retarget it is shown that about 70 percent of people after retargeting get converted so it's a very popular as well uh, powerful tool and uh, fourth one is don't you don't need a website to set up unlike google adwords you know the ads and all once people click on the ads the people people are sent to the uh to the websites or web pages but in google and facebook ads you really don't need a website you can have all kinds of website features whether it's videos images text call to actions everything in one platform so users don't have to leave the advertising at all or leave the facebook at all for you know become to for you to generate lead or collect emails or whatever you want from your ads fifth is one platforms two accounts now 
since 2012, as you know, you know, Instagram was bought, you know, was bought uh, by Facebook. And after that, if, if you set up a Facebook ads, you, you get an option to whether to run it on Instagram as well. So it's a plus there. So you set up one account, one Facebook ad account, you can run it on Instagram as well as Facebook. Now coming to some cons of uh, Facebook ads. Number one, it distinguish organic reach. Now, what do you mean by that? Um, in my previous video as well, I mentioned that, you know, nowadays social media heavily relies on ads. Without ads, you're not going to reach any people. You're hardly going to reach or either you're not going to reach or you have to produce lots of content for your kind of some kind of your content to reach people. And if some, you know, some small companies or whoever wants to try it out, some the advertising, you know, don't want to spend first you're hardly going to get any reach from your organic content. So it heavily relies on ads and that's it. Second, strict policies. Uh, if you go to the Facebook ad um, policies, which, uh, you know, they, they have the specific page about their ads policies, you'll find about almost 40 points of policies and their policies are very strict. And some of them are even weird. You can check it out there as well. And many people get banned or maybe if the ad doesn't pass some of, of the policies, you know, there are some metrics there. If your ad don't pass that, your ad not, it's not going to run and their policy is quite strict here. Okay. Um, third, users have to view their feed in order to see ads. You know, I like Google, Ad, Google AdWords where your ads can be seen anywhere, whether it's search uh, on the search results or YouTube or, you know, other websites like you, which monetize you using AdSense. On Facebook ads can be seen only on users' feed. So unless the users open their Facebook ad, uh, your their Facebook, they're not gonna see your ad. So there's a limitation here. Fourth, ad manager can be difficult for beginners. Actually, to set up your first uh, ads on Facebook is not that difficult, but there are other various components which you have to learn or you have to understand before you really can get started with this. Sure, there's a feature like, you know, boost your post if you can see that from your Facebook page. But actually, if you really want some good ads campaigns, uh, you know, you really have to understand how the, um, how the ad manager tr truly works. So there, this is uh, another cons of uh, Facebook ads. Okay, now coming to, uh, you know, which one is really better here. So uh, right now you must have analyzed, you know, the, you have you must have known that you know they both have pros and cons so which is better well it actually boils down to two components that is uh, your target audience and your goal now target audience is the number one uh, important factors which you should take into consideration whenever you choose either Facebook or Google AdWords because you know for certain type of business uh, their, their users or their audiences are present more in each, in, in any of the platform. For, for example, if I'm on B two, if I'm running a B two C business, most of my you know most of my audiences can be found on social media as well as well as Google. Of course, everyone is on Google, right? So uh, some most of my audiences will be found on social media as well. But if I'm a B two B business, then obviously you know, very few are there present. Either they're on LinkedIn or a little bit on Facebook or no, none at all on, uh, you know, on social media. But Google AdWords r works really well on both the platforms because, you know, everyone is on Google. So before you start your ads, you make sure you understand your target audience. You create your bio persona. Bio persona simply means, uh, you know, the specification of your uh, audience, like whether, whether it's their age, their qualifications or whatever metrics you require, you know, to understand your uh, audience. And second one is your goal. Um, there are actually basically two main types of goal here, which we want to talk about is, you know, first is create awareness and second is conversions. Creating awareness means, you know, simply just to show your ads in front of people, just to um, inform them about your brands or let them know about your products or what you do. Now, in that case, if, if your goal is that, then Facebook is pretty well, is, is pretty suitable here because, you know, when you run your Facebook ads, 
you you throw in the money and your ad gets uh, you know reach 2000 of people depends on the metrics you select like you know age gender etc so um, it is a good it is a quite a powerful tool when it comes to you know reach when you want your ad to you know generate awareness but if your goal is to make sales and you know or gross profit or you want to quickly you know generate sales then obviously you have to go for Google AdWords because as I said there's a user based intent advertising means uh, people already know what they want so they just simply search on Google and they're all they're almost ready to buy okay now coming to the last point here is according to me which one is the best after analyzing you know pros and cons of each in my opinion I would go for Google AdWords because number one Google AdWords is suitable for both B2B and B2C business, so it works well for both. Second, it uh, reaches large number of audiences. As I said, Facebook can reach in the news page, Facebook ads, but in Google AdWords, your ads can reach anywhere in Google you know, ecosystem, and you know Google dominates almost 90% of the websites uh, on the, of the internet. So that's why I think it's a very powerful tool. And third is, uh, they're likely to convert because you know when you type on the Google right if you want to buy like best shoes or best clothes whatever they're ready to buy those people are ready to buy or and they're ready to pay the money so it, it basically you can even Facebook you know Facebook can also can generate sales or conversion but it's likely to be more on Google AdWords than Facebook so um, yeah that's all for my um, for my comparison for today's and don't forget to check out my videos on disadvantages of social media for business as well in that video I clearly explained why social media is not suitable for uh, business and uh, that's for that's all for today's videos hope you enjoy it and if you have any questions just leave them down in the comments and I'll be able to answer them I'll be happy to answer them and if you want me to create any more videos re regarding this just uh, about online marketing or digital marketing just comment down as well and for now see you